Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. It's March the 1st and it is time for Rock 2022 AU. We'll review February and then we'll do March. Now, I am filming with a new camera and I've had a few issues. I'm sorry I'm late. There's also been some heavy rain and a lot of noise. So hopefully we'll get through this and I'll get it up before March the 2nd. Okay, February we did Dr. Hook and our second album choice was Deep Purple's Burn album. Now Deep Purple inspired a lot of projects with some great colours and it brought some of our subscribers out to comment on how they liked heavy rock and heavy metal. I like reading the comments, they're a lot of fun so make sure you leave a comment on some of the videos and let me know what inspires you in your project or what sort of music you like or even a genre of music. It's always great to read. So for me, I just stuck to my basic corner to corner square. I did purple and orange for Deep Purple's Burn in the corner to corner square. And then my zigzag blanket, I did a couple of rows of purple and a couple of rows of orange. I am really enjoying this project and love the way it is turning out. I wish I'd done one sooner. So for our participation prize for February, there will be a video butted up at the end of this one showing the winner. Make sure you congratulate the winner, whoever that's going to be. Haven't done that yet. But guys, remember to post your pictures because in February we had a few less than January, but that's fine. Because the make along is about jumping in and out when it suits you and when you post a picture for that month you go into the participation prize now if you want to be in the mystery prize at the end of the year you've got to have posted at least eight photos for the year but guys it's up to you however much you want to do or join in with is entirely up to you it's got to be fun so we're moving on to March now there's been a few hints. I am picking March because March is a big month for me personally and also celebrates on the 8th of March International Women's Day which is something I like to acknowledge and celebrate. The hints are I am wearing my very hippie dress and I am wearing my hair down. Very rarely seen in public. I normally straighten it or try it back. This is natural, frizzy, curly, just me. My sisters used to say when I was younger, oh my God, she's unleashed the lion because they have short, dark hair. They don't wear it very long and it's very straight. I am a freak of nature, as my sisters would say. So guys, there are my hints for my album choice for the 1st of March. What could it be? Well, we are going to be celebrating an amazing woman, a talented woman, and a great artist who's no longer with us. Who is it? Well, of course, it is one of my favorites, Janis Joplin. Ta-da! Janis Joplin, a short-lived rock career. This is not a great album. I'll explain why, but it is the only one I have of hers currently. It is a double album, and it's... Um, the old pressing, Reeves was quite surprised where they have side one and four on one record and two and three on another. And that's because it was designed for an automatic record player where you stack them and they drop down in order. But I'll explain why it's not a great album, but it is a great photo of Janis Joplin. So, International Women's Day. Why should we celebrate it? We are breaking the bias in 2022. Imagine a gender equal world, a world free of bias, stereotypes and discrimination, a world that is diverse, equitable and inclusive, a world where difference is valued and celebrated. Together we can forge women's equality. Collectively we can call to break the bias. So that's why we should celebrate amazing women like Janis Joplin. So a bit of info about Janis Joplin, if you haven't heard of her or heard of her music. 
Her music links will be in the description below so you can check her out and listen to her, whatever I can find on YouTube. But guys, here's some info I gathered on Janice just to put you in the picture. Janice Joplin was an American singer-songwriter who sang rock, soul and blues music. One of the most successfully, uh, successful and widely known rock stars of her era. She was noted for her powerful voice and electric stage presence. She was just amazing on stage to watch. In 1967, Joplin rose to fame following an appearance at Monterey Pop Festival where she was the lead singer of then a little known San Francisco Francisco's psychedelic rock band, that's a mouthful, Big Brother and The Holding Company. After releasing two albums with the band, she left Big Brother and went solo with her backing groups. She appeared at Woodstock Festival and on the Festival Express, a train tour. Five singles by Janice reached the Billboard Hot 100, including a cover of the Chris Christopherson song, Me and Bobby McGee, worth a listen, which reached number one in 1971. Her most popular songs included her cover versions of Peace of My Heart, Cry Baby, Down On Me, Ball and Chain, Summertime, and her original song, Mercedes Benz, and my favorite. Joplin died of a heroin overdose in 1970 at the age of 27 after releasing three albums, two with Big Brother and The Holding Company and one solo album. Her second solo album, Pearl, was released in January 1971, just over three months after her death. It reached number one on the Billboard charts. She was posthumously included in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. Rolling Stones ranked Joplin 46 in its 2004 list of 100 greatest artists of all time and number 28 in its 2008 list of general greatest singers of all time. She remains one of the top selling musicians in the United States and with the Recording Industry Association of America certifications of 18.5 five million record sales album sales can you believe that 18.5 million for such a short career she was amazing and i do hope to find a copy of pearl on vinyl one day we keep checking so to inspire you i know the cover isn't great it's grays and blacks and a bit of red there's red on the back but hopefully some of the lyrics from her songs will inspire your project. Also, you can be inspired by International Women's Day and do something that signifies breaking the bias and equality for women. You could also be inspired by the music of her era, the late 60s to 70s, psychedelic colours. Let's see what you guys come up with. I can't wait to see. I think it will be amazing. Look, in this current world climate at the moment, it's important to be kind to one another, to spread the love to one another, and remember to give peace a chance. Take care. Stay safe until March the 15th. Peace be with you. Bye for now. It is time for our February participation prize draw. There are 29 names on the wheel. Let's go. Good luck, everyone. Madonna Ballard. Madonna, you have won our lucky participation prize for February. Congratulations. Guys, I hope you kick off March with an inspiring project by an inspiring woman. Bye for now.